1029 Hot Tomato. Flan and Emily Jade. Good morning, it's Flan from 1029 Hot Tomatoes. Flan and Emily Jade's breakfast show. I'm with Harry Keel, the legendary soccer roommate. Welcome to the Gold Coast. It's lovely to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm excited. You know, yeah. great weather. Yeah. Looking you, forward to it. You bought a Jeep? Of course I did. Yeah, beauty. You've got an academy now for kids to become a soccer just like you do. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, it's just my idea about um, football. You know, um, I think this day and age, people make football difficult. I think uh, football is a very simple game. Um, and if you just do the basic things right, it can take you a long way. So my idea is, you know, teaching kids in uh, regional areas. Um, like I said, I've, I've been to Townsville, Harvey Bay, Brisbane, and now uh, I just finished in the Gold Coast. And it's just about giving them the ideas that I did as a, as a football not only from the start of my career, but all the way up through the end of my career. I, I feel like uh, your last World Cup, um, if we hadn't been cheated by the Italians, we possibly could have gone on and made the World Cup final. Is that something that you think is plausible? Uh, in hindsight, maybe. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's a, little, there's a lot of hatred towards uh, Grosso for, for doing what he did. But, you know, even, even as an Australian, even, even as a player, in that situation, you're, you know, you're 10 men, you know, you're going against a the tie there because we were we were pushing up there and we were looking like we were going to score. Sensation. I I don't blame him for what he did, you know. Um, would, anyone, would anyone have done it? I think everyone would have done it. Any okay. striker in the world would have done the same thing. What about your personal life, Harry? What's going on? Nothing much, really. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm like any other any other person, any other dad. You know, yeah. I've got four kids, you know. So it's, four? It, it's, it's, it's full on, you know. Um, school runs, the picking up, the homeworks, the cooking, the dinner and all that. Um, but like I said, this is, obviously I, I've worked over the last couple of weeks and I'm, I'm still working this week. Well, I tell my wife I'm, I'm still working, <laughs> which I technically I am because I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but I get to play in a Jeep tournament. Yeah, okay. Golf. So uh, technically it's, it's, it's a pleasure for me because I do love golf. And what's your handicap? Uh, 11 at the moment. Oh, nice. Yeah. You can play. It's, 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 it's not bad. Yeah, of course. Well, mate, there. if you can play golf, I wonder if you can still play soccer. I'd like to take you on a little bit of a, a little bit of footy challenge here. Okay. Now for that. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Harry Kill, lovely to talk to you, mate. I've got a confession to make. I knew we'd be standing very close this morning, so I ate a whole packet of Mentos before we came over. Oh, <laughs> I've probably got coffee breath because I just had another coffee. <laughs> Harry so, Kill, thanks, thank mate. you so much, mate. Lovely, lovely to meet thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, what are we doing? We're just going to do a little bit of this. Come on, Harry. See. <laughs> I think I was easily the best. 1029 Hot Tomato.